All right, just taking a quick look at this new Rover 2000 from Bouge RV. So this is interesting because they're saying this has small volume, large capacity. Volume reduced by 25%, weight reduced by six and a half kilos, which is almost 15 pounds. And in fact, they've kind of put together this chart down here to kind of give you an idea, you know, how does it stack up against the competition? Now, they're primarily comparing it to the Blue Eddy AC200 models. So, Blue Eddy's updated this model a lot, but the weight has always been around 60 pounds. So, yeah, you know, it is lighter than that. And they're saying compared to, you know, product B, it's better than that as well. And the reason they've been able to achieve the smaller size and weight is because they're using semi-solid state batteries. So, you know, that's... That's good. That's good. But guess what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. LFP batteries, which is all the ones they're comparing it to, LFP batteries are getting better and better, like literally by the day. <laughs> In fact, they're getting so good. <laughs> they're getting so good that this is the new Jackery 2000 version 2 that this one is actually, yeah, you can see it right here, 39.5 39 point, 39 pounds. This thing's got LFP batteries. And guess what? <laughs> it just crapped all over this Rover 2000, didn't it? So here, I'll update the chart. I'll update the chart with the new Jackery 2000 version 2 specs in there. And you, as you can see, as you can see, it's better. It's way better. So now you might say, you might be saying to yourself, well, that, <laughs> that pretty much wraps that up. You know, there's no point watching the rest of this video. I'll just go buy the Jack Ray 2000 version two. And you know what I would say? <laughs> you know what I'd say? This Rover 2000, actually, there's a lot of stuff here that's a lot better than that Jack Ray. <laughs> a lot better. How about 1500 watts of solar? Of solar, not from the wall. We're not talking about this. Yes, it can do 1,500 watts from the wall. <laughs> We're talking about solar here, solar charging. In fact, they recommend you can actually hook up eight. <laughs> hey, you can hook, you can actually hook up eight 200 watt panels to this thing. And you know, guess what? You're going to be able to hook them up pretty easily as well because. Yeah, 11 to 100 volts. So pretty good, you know, pretty good voltage range there. You can probably put four of them in series, right? So you can have like a 4S2P. Here, I'll write it out for you. 4S2P, right? Configuration. If you had like, if the 200 watt panels, you know, had the normal voltage of around 20 volts, you could do that. And you could you could kind of you know make a solar hey you can make a whole solar array in your backyard easily. How about 30 amps? By the way, <laughs> hey, by the way, and you know if you're wondering, well, what does the Jackery do? What does the Jackery do? Uh, <laughs> the Jackery does 400 watts, 400 watts. That's it. But the Jackery does have the dual inputs, the dual MPPTs. It's just, it's very limited. The, the watts on it, they, they capped it. Check out my, if you want to know more about that, check out my video on it. I talked all about it. They artificially capped the solar on that product because they didn't want it to, <laughs> I guess, hey, they didn't want it to be too good. They didn't want it to be better than their other products. Well, guess what? Now some of you might, you might not buy it. You might not want to buy that thing, right? You might want to buy this Rover 2000. And there's another reason you might not want to get the Jackery. This thing is actually scalable that's what they, that's what they say scalable so ex expandable right i mean it's you can hook up extra batteries and you can hook up three of them so you can hook up three of the little extra batteries here and each you know each extra battery it's the same it's the same semi solid state two kilowatt hour battery so if you got three of them you know one two three and then plus the main unit is actually the fourth unit you know, so four times two will give you the eight kilowatt hours. Now, you know, the downside of this setup is, as you can see here in this picture, you know, it's still using kind of the bulky cables. 
this it's an old design, right? I mean, we're starting to see new power stations that can just stack and connect or at least have 90 degree cables. This doesn't have any of that. So it's an older setup, but you know, hey, it will give you a lot of capacity, you know, and of course, you know, each one of these is going to be fairly small, fairly lightweight. So yeah, the Jackery, you can't expand, you can't expand the, the 2000 version two at all. Now, Jackery does have a 2000 that you can expand. That's the 2000 plus. That's the one with the suitcase style design. So that one you can expand. That one does have huge solar as well. I think it's like 12 or 1400 watts. So very similar with that. The only thing is that thing does weigh 60 pounds. So that is where this new Rover 2000, you know, is smaller and lighter than that. And another thing that this thing has that's better than the Jackery is the built-in LED light. It's, this is actually awesome. This is a, one of the best ones I've seen. It's not the best one. It's not the best one. If you follow the channel, you will know which, which power station has the best built-in LED light. But this one is still very good. And it's, hey, it's a lot better than the Jackery, isn't it? Because the Jackery just has that little spotlight, right? A little spotlight. That's just going to blind you and, you know, it doesn't do anything special. This one does. This one does. So it's, you know, number one, it's a larger panel light. So it's just the light is going to be diffused over a larger area. So it's less likely, likely to blind you. It's also at the bottom. So you can still see the display. You can still see the ports, you know, without being blinded by the light. And the main thing is here, there's not just two different brightness settings. Guess what? There's actually two different color temperatures. So this is awesome because if depending on like what you're doing, this can actually be very important. You know, if you're trying to light up like a, a workbench or something where you're trying to like, you know, get something done, work on a project, you actually want to have a cooler temperature light. This is all, you know, based on science and how the brain works because of the way that the color temperature of the sun varies throughout the day. So during, you know, like during noon, it's a cooler temperature than it is, you know, when it's setting, for example. Obviously, you know, you see, you see it kind of turn orange and, and red when it sets. And that's what tells your brain, get ready, get ready to go to bed. So, you know, if, if you need to be alert and you need to focus on something, you want to have the cool light. And, you know, if you're just kind of chilling, you know, if you're relaxing, then you want to have a warmer tone. So, and then this is awesome too, because as I mentioned, you can have the two different brightness settings on each color temperature. A few other things that this thing has that the Jackery doesn't have. How about some 12 volt barrel ports? You know, Jackery, all they do is throw the, the 12 volt socket on there. Well, you know, the barrel ports do come in handy. A lot of people love to have, you know, an extra 12 volt outlet for small loads, you know, things you just plug in with. Yeah, you don't, and you don't want to have to deal with the adapter, the car socket adapter thing. So that's better. How about six USB ports, including three 100 watts, right? So that's a lot more than what Jackery gives you. First thing is the EPS mode. UPS, yeah, they don't call it UPS. So that kind of, that kind of gives you an idea. You know, it's probably not, it's not that the quickest switch over. In fact, they don't even list it. It just says almost instant. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like if you had this thing, if you had your computer plugged into this thing and the power went out and it didn't keep the, po uh, or it didn't keep the computer on, <laughs> you'd say, well, it, hey, it, it almost kept it on. <laughs> it almost kept it on. So yeah, no, they don't even give a spec on there on the milliseconds. So it's probably 20 or 30 milliseconds. So that's, you know, it might work. It might not work. Here's another thing they don't really give a spec on, low noise. Low noise. Well, what's the decibel? What is it? <laughs> they don't say. Another thing, this is actually, you might really want to make a note of this. This is kind of concerning to me, in fact. This Bouj RV Rover 2000, they say the warranty is only 1.5 years, one and a half years. So, oof, that, oof, you know, that, it doesn't sound like they're too confident in their own products. Does it? So I would, I would say to Bouj RV, you need to increase that. The Jackery is, is three years, just, you know, straight out of the box. If you register your Jackery on their website, they'll give you, they'll give you a five-year warranty. 
So, yeah, that, I don't know, let me know what you guys think of that, you know? Of course, you can always get Amazon, if you buy this thing off Amazon, you can always get one of these insurance plans that Amazon offers. Let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know, you know, if you if you go with this or you go with the Jackery or if you go with something else, frankly. I mean, you know, maybe the size and weight isn't that big of a deal to you, you know? So yeah, let me know and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.